Okay, back out in the field again now uh, with the NEMA 17 stepper motor installed. Um, there was a small bit of wind gusting um, 10, 12, 14 miles per hour so it will uh, give us a good indication when the gusts come. It's not constant at the moment. It's a light enough day, wind day, but it's it's dry, it's winter time. So we'll just see what she's turning. Everything looks to be fine. Again, I have a few guys there to stop her from being uh, keeled over. 130 milliamps. 150, 180 milliamps. 230 milliamps and as I say it's not very strong wind but it's working I probably can't see that now. It's a day which just gusts coming every periodically it's not a constant wind today but after all the storms and the torrential downpours of rain, it's just nice to get out here on a November day. 200. It's four to four, six, 600. Uh, I wish I could see this properly. I was trying to see what uh, our winds were getting. Eight miles per hour. Six. Eight. She's turning there at eight, eleven, ten. She's gone around quite a bit faster there. I'll we'll see when she starts turning. She's turning there now at a, uh, about nine, twelve. She's gone around nicely there now. And of course, when it's short, it takes a few seconds for the capacitors to build up before you start getting a voltage and amps. Uh, so far looking at I've, I've certainly voltage I've had 510, 515 I saw about 300 milliamps there uh, 150, 200, 300 milliamps but uh, the wind is not constant enough to uh, get a sustained reading. The blades turn quite free freely Pity I couldn't get the gearing one to do the same. I'm here now by the coast, um, the overcast, but there's a there's a bit of wind coming. I'll have to get something to make that waterproof with the dampness. Eight hundred milliamps, so oh, very good. Yeah. So when you get her up, a bit of a gust, she does excellent. Can't see here now with this. I know we we are sort of sheltered here. That 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 woods is uh, that woods is sheltering. Uh, the wind is coming in that direction, and we're only hoping for a bit to rebound off of that one. So it's it's not constant. Just getting the odd, uh, which is good, I suppose, for the winter time. But uh, 180. There you have 640, 670 milliamps, 650 milliamps. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, so yeah. Right, let's have a look at this one. Five point one eight volts, two hundred milliamps, seven hundred milliamps, seven thirty. Yeah, she does it. I don't want to keep it out here too long now because uh, it's, uh, it's 
stampish and I have nothing waterproofed. Watch out. She's doing it. She is doing it. Very good. It works. I put a longer uh, pin tail on it now. That's a bit of aluminium off a TB aerial, so it's quite light. It's an old aerial. And, uh, it's very light, so it did the job. Okay, so that uh, field test worked out very well. Um, very similar to what I was getting here at 400 RPM, 100 milliamps or more, and at 1400, 830, I was getting up to that. So that 1400, 830, I did some wind tests. That was working out about 14 miles per hour. So today it was slack three to five miles per hour and then when the gust was coming it was coming up about 10 to 14 miles per hour so i know she can generate it um what's left to do now i've got to come up with some means of uh, waterproofing the uh, power banks um whether that'll be a waterproof bag or some sort of a container and the other thing now i'm going to uh, because this was built for something else uh, with that buckle over there that uh, hand crank generator I don't need these dimensions now so I'm going to narrow the uh, the width and the height to come more in line with the diameter of the hub of the blades and I think I'm going to go ahead with putting brackets here and here and uh, hanging it off a, a swivel shackle top and bottom and trying it on a three I'd also like to try one of those um, G-clamp type things that uh, the uh, professional photographers have for hanging monitors and that, which would be handy because I could uh, clamp it off a pipe or off a, a railing or something like that. My equation is this this year now with the uh, lockdowns, full lockdowns, partial lockdowns, the cost equals mental well-being. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying these little projects. Uh, my sort of summation now would be fine for a day like today, overcast, misty with a bit of wind. Um, but in any sunny weather, you can't beat uh, having a, a small solar panel. Solar, solar winds out on a sunny day, but for a day like today now, mist and damp and um, with a bit of wind. Um, yeah, this thing, and of course you could have it going through the night. It has its uses, but not as good as a solar panel a solar panel with a few power banks charged up is way better than this but it, it has its uses and it's a bit of fun